Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over a scenario I posed in my class the other day for uh, putting in a books authors database. So basically a small database that keeps track, that, that keeps track of books and their authors. And I threw in a couple caveats, uh, specifically that one book can have many authors and one author can, can write many books. Okay, so that's the scenario we've got to go with, and I just want to kind of document how that would probably work. And I'm going to start off here in Excel just to kind of use, as, use it as a visual aid. And I have three books on my desk at the moment, and I'm going to keep track of those here. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend I'm going to have a books table, and my books table is going to keep track of a book ID, a book title, and um, it could do other fields, uh, stuff like number of pages, uh, is it paperback, is it hardback book, the publisher, and things like that. But I'll keep it simple here and just start off with these particular fields. So since I have three books, I'm going to go ahead and assign IDs to them. Three different books. I'm going to go ahead and put in some titles here. I've got a uh, Dreamweaver CS5 book. I've got a book called Web Usability. And I've got another book Photoshop CS5. So my books table is going to keep track of my book IDs, my ID numbers, and these could be ISBN numbers certainly, and the titles of these books. I'm going to go ahead and take this, these book IDs and I'm just going to format them as text. There we go, so I've got text fields there. And my book ID would be the primary key, so I'm going to go ahead and bold that so we can recall. That's, that's my books table. Put some borders on there. Now, I want to keep track of the authors. Now, I'm not going to put book author inside of my books table because one of my books in particular has three authors. And I don't want to list three different authors all in one cell. And I don't want to create fields for potential authors. Like, I don't want to have author one, author two, author three. Because what happens when I finally get a book that has five authors? Well, I don't have fields for that. Or most of my books might only have one author, so all those fields are going to be sitting empty. So I'm not going to create an author field for my books table. It's going to have information about the book title, publisher, number of pages, softback, does it include a CD, yes or no, that kind of stuff. I'm going to have another table over here that's going to keep track of authors. And this is going to have things like my author ID, author name. I could also have things like uh, date of birth. So um, I'll start off with just these few fields. And how many authors do I have? I've got three on one book. Let me just go and I'll just kind of write them as I go here. So, so one of my authors is Hosey Gunnar. And I'm just putting in some last names. Another one of my authors is Geller. A third author is Hart. A fourth author is Lazar. And then for my other book, there those authors are already listed. So out of my three books, I have four different authors involved. So I've got three books here, Dreamweaver CS5, Web Usability, Photoshop CS5, and there are four authors between all three of those books. Go and put some borders on there. I'm going to format these uh, IDs as text. And once again, author ID would be my primary key, so I'll go ahead and bold that for now. And let me put borders on this one, too. Okay, so I've got these two tables, books and authors. And let's pluralize that just to be consistent. One book can have many authors, and one author can have many books. That's a many-to-many -many relationship. And I'm going to resolve that by creating a junction table or an associative entity. And that's a third table that keeps track of the combinations of books and authors. And I'll just put it right down here. And I'm going to call mine Books Authors because I don't have a better name for it. And I'm going to have a BA ID number. And then I'm going to keep track of the book ID in question and the author ID in question. Now my book author's ID is going to be the primary key, so I'll go ahead and bold that. And now I have to keep track of all the various combinations. As an example, my book number one is Dreamweaver CS5. Okay, So book ID one is using the authors Hart and Geller. Okay, So that means author two, which is Geller. In another row, book ID number one, same book, 
also has the author heart three okay so and I'll put in a couple ID numbers here and I'm gonna actually convert all of these to text so let's see what I have here I've got two records or two entries in my book books authors table and they're all about book number one which for me is Dreamweaver CS5 it has two authors book number one was written by author two Geller and book number one was also written by author three which is Hart so that records my Dreamweaver book now I also have references for another book book number two is web usability and it was only it only had one author his name was Lazar Jonathan Lazar so that was author number four okay so there's author four for that book and there's my third record now I go to my last book which is my book number three Photoshop CS5 and this one has three authors which means I'm gonna have three extra entries in my books authors table so I'm gonna have four five and six and the book ID in question is book three and the authors in question are Jose Benar, which is author number one, Geller, which is author number two, and uh, Hart, which is author number three. Excellent. So let me go ahead and put borders on this. And this is the structure for my associative entity, my junction table, which resolves the many-to-many -many relationship here. So one book can have many authors, one author can write many books, and that's organized in this third table. Notice that book author ID is my primary key and it's unique. No two records have the same ID number. But notice that book ID would not be a good primary key, nor would author ID be a good primary key because there are duplicates. See, there's a duplicate there for book number one, and I also have duplicates here for author number two. See, he's used in two different places. Same thing, author number three is used in two different places. So book ID is not a good primary key. Author ID is not a good primary key. Now I have two one-to-many relationships. There's a one-to-many relationship between books and books authors. There's a one-to-many relationship between authors and books and books authors. So that's my plan there in Excel. Now if I was doing this in Access, let me jump over to Access real quick and I'm just going to create a uh, new database and I'll call it uh, books authors. I'm going to create a blank database. I know I'm going to need three tables. I'm going to jump to design view. My first table is going to be books. And let's see, I'm going to have my book ID. And I'm going to put in text. I'll just type in those numbers myself. And I'm going to have book title. And that will also be text. There we go. Got that taken care of. Primary key is book ID. And let me go ahead and enter this data in. So I'll jump over to data sheet view. and I'll put in book one let's, let's see I'll try to do these in the same order that I did before so I did uh, Dreamweaver web usability Photoshop CS5 okay so I'll jump back over to access Dreamweaver CS5 oops let's go back here book two web usability and book three is Photoshop CS5 there we go so now I've got my books entered I'm gonna create another table in design view and let's see this is gonna be my author ID text and author name and that'll also be text author ID is gonna be my primary key so let me go to data sheet view it's prompting me to save I will do so this is gonna be my authors table and let's see on Excel I did Jose Benar, Geller, Hart, Lazar Jose Benar, Geller, Hart, and Lazar. So now I have my authors listed. So I have my authors table and my books table are created. There's my books with my three books listed. There's my authors with my three authors listed. Both of these tables have a primary key and ID number that keeps them all unique one more table to go. I'm going to do create and I'm going to do table design and this is going to be my books authors ID and that'll be text and then I'm going to have a 
book ID, which is text, and an author ID, which is text. Keep track of all this information. I'm going to jump to datasheet view. I'm going to save when prompted. I will call this books authors. Click OK. Oops, I forgot to set a primary key. So let's make sure it set the right primary key. It didn't. It created a new primary key for me. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now. I'm going to make this field my primary key. And I'm going to delete that primary key that it made for me. So now I do have a primary key here, my book's author's ID. Go back to data sheet view, save when prompted. And I can kind of reference my Excel sheet here. But basically, I'm going to have um, 112, 213. now if all these numbers seem confusing, remember, these are simply the ID numbers that reference my various books and or authors. So my first reference here, my first record in my books authors table, record number one, involves book one and author two. So if I go to my books table, book one was Dreamweaver. Author two, go to my authors table, was Geller. And if I go to my Dreamweaver book, I look down, yep, sure enough, Geller was one of the authors for that particular book. My other reference, my second record here in my book's authors table also referenced book one and author three. Book one, author three. Book one is Dreamweaver, author three is Hart, and if I look at the cover of my book, I can see that Geller and Hart were the authors for that particular book. So that's what all these code numbers represent. Now, let me jump over to, um, actually, let me go ahead and close these tables. Database tools, relationships. I'm going to bring in all three tables. And I'm going to kind of arrange them so book, books authors is kind of in the middle. Author ID to author ID. Enforce referential integrity, create. Book ID to book ID. Enforce referential integrity, create. So instead of having a many to many relationship, I have two one to many relationships. So this is what the relationship window should look like for this particular database scenario. Now that we have this kind of stuff, you can create queries and reports that reference these tables. What if I wanted to get a, the names of all of the authors for a particular book? No problem. I would use my book authors table to find out which authors wrote a particular book. And then that would look over to the authors table to get the author's name out of there and the books table to get the book's title out of there. So that's a little bit for this simple database scenario.